We are contributing to one of the most exciting times in the world. Our population expands as technology connects us in ways we never imagined. The future is so bright, and yet, I've never felt so alone. Why? I discovered what was holding me back, and keeping so many others from achieving their dreams. What I want to share with you is one. Waking up in a new city. I didn't want this. friends, and networks all developed, and myself living comfortably within them. Walking around underneath a gleaming spotlight that feels so dim. I've already lost touch with everyone back home. There's no one to go to, nowhere to go. I'm alone. A large gap had been closed when we moved to Red Deer. There is so much love within this circle. She was different. I felt something that I have not felt in a long time. Or maybe I have never felt that way. But why me? I'm not the worst, but I'm sure she is capable of better. I might as well save myself the embarrassment. Better to be safe than sorry, right? These walls were built through time, and to tear them down would be a step in the wrong direction. An abandoned king who has lost his crown. All I have left are these castle walls. I was wrong. My fears were thrown to the side, and something beautiful blossomed out of the darkness. Everything happens so fast when time is not considered. The light is starting to shine through, simultaneously brightening my present and future. I was left stripped of all my guards, weakened, vulnerable, and happy.
Nothing's changed. It was as if I had spoken for the first time. It's hard to describe the feeling. Finding what you love. began. A fleeting moment can change your entire direction. It can show you who you are. I awoke from the reverie. We were living off better tomorrows and overlooking broken todays. dark for a while, but then, then a spark can light the room. But facts can always be disproved. So a couple people think it's a great idea. I can't change the world. I was crazy to think I could. And then it hit me. I am scared. Fear is defining who I am. I've lost control and it's led me into this loneliness. This instinctive fear has developed into an oppressive dictator, ruling my life and constraining me to contemplate what ifs. of the life you 
your dreams out of your mind and into reality. All it takes is getting your heart racing and facing your fears. You're not alone. You just need to make the first move.